Hello people of YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted in two years because I have school and stuff. So today I'm just going to show you how to install LSPDFR for this game right here. And uh, well, how are you going to do this? So there's two things you need. You need this. Now let me get the other file and this. This is how your game will look uh, before you started modding. Uh, where if you have mo if you already modded, uh, you, you're probably gonna have a bunch of other files. But this is how your clean GTA 5 should look like. It uh, doesn't have any anything else. So to start it off, you need something called Rage Plugin Hook. Uh, it's kind of a it's a program that lets you start up pl plugins with your game. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and type it in here. Uh, RagePluginHook.net. I'm gonna post the links in the description. So then you go ahead to press downloads and uh, get the recent version or whatever version you see. So you download this file right here, um, and once you've done that, you're just gonna go ahead and drag it onto your desktop. From here, you can just uh, use WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR, uh, I'm gonna leave a link for it in the description. You can just download that too, and uh, it's it, just you can open all the files. And uh, once you're in here, all you're gonna want to do is drag ev all of these files, and uh, not the folders, all of these files into your uh, Grand Theft Auto Five directory, uh, just like this. I'm just gonna show you. There you go. So this is uh, when when the game is modded. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and not uh, move any files into my vanilla game in case of my game crashes. So I just have a backup. And you also want to make sure you have the plugins folder in there too. Once you're done with this, you're uh, you're gonna need the actual mod. So you go ahead and search for lspdfr, and you're gonna find this site right here. I'm gonna leave the link to in the description. All right, so once you're on their site, you're gonna be greeted with this. And uh, you're, you're gonna see something, uh, maybe this, there's a Sam uploaded a file to LSPD first response. Go ahead and press that and uh, download this file. Actually, I'm just gonna do this for the sake of the video. Just agree and download and uh, I, I would recommend downloading this uh, because it does it for you. It does it, you don't so you don't have to do it manually. I'm just gonna go ahead and download this. So blah blah blah. Okay. All right. So this is gonna take a while. And once you are done, I'm just gonna go ahead and search for it because I think I have it. Yeah. All right, so actually I found it. So you're just gonna go ahead and start up this setup. And once you're done with that, uh, go, just go ahead and uh, accept everything uh, as you would do in a normal install. So once you are uh, you find your game again, I'm just gonna go ahead and Steam library, Steam apps, common, uh, Grand Theft Auto V. <clears throat> Uh, you're gonna see this LSP, LSF, uh, PDFR UNS or whatever. Uh, that's just for the install, uh, uninstall if you ever would want to do that. And uh, got the Rage plugin hook too. And you also have to download two very important uh, things. It's script hook v or five. Let me just go ahead and do this. Uh, then you're just gonna go ahead and download this. Uh, right here, not the SDK because that's for developers. I uh, just download this, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. There we go. You can just drag the files inside of bin straight into your game. Okay, thank you. Uh, so when you're done with that, go ahead and download script hook the dot net mm. you can download it from here and just uh, download here 
scriptedfile.net and drag the, the, the folders inside of it into the Grand Theft Auto directory. All of these inside of the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Okay, so once you have this done, uh, you're going to be able to start your game. Just press a Rage plugin hook, and for most people, it's going to do a new. Uh, it's going to do kind of a setup for the Rage plugin hook, and just uh, follow the steps. And you might have to go into the settings before you start the game. So. Once you're in the settings, you can uh, change the console key because there's a console, and you you can uh, enable all your plugins. So if you see that you have LSPD first response, that means you got you got the mod, okay? So just press save and launch. All right. So once you're inside of the game, you're gonna see this custom loading screen. It's gonna say Rage plugin hook install uh, and all of these. And uh, when this is done, there should be loaded plugin uh, LSPDFR. Alright, so once you uh, load it in the game, uh, you're gonna see the message down in the bottom uh, left corner, uh, which me basically means you got every you done everything correctly and uh, well, uh, the, the mod works. So if you press F4, uh, you're gonna get this console, which is very useful, and you can just pre uh, go ahead and type in go to, and you're gonna see the one of the results is go to PD. Just press tab and enter. This is just gonna this is just gonna teleport to you to the downtown police station. And uh, as you can see, you're not gonna get these kind of op officers because I uh, I got a lot of other mods. But I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. You can just uh, go inside, uh, press E to go on duty. Just pick whatever character you'd like. These these are modded so. Uh, can go ahead to take the ASU, the news, FIB, whatever you want to uh, play the game as. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take the normal officer. All right. So now that you have loaded in, you're gonna see you're now on duty as a police officer, and uh, you can just step outside. Actually, you can even shoot police if you want to. Uh, yeah, nothing will happen really. And. Uh, these are my model cars, don't worry about them. You can just go go ahead and go down to the garage where usually police rob you for your vehicles. And you can select a vehicle from the garage. Um, now you can see I have modded cars, but there's all of the police cars. Uh, including a uh, Hydra, I think. Let me just check. Yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> if you ever would like to fly a plane as a police officer, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, choose my police buffalo. Just gonna use all these sirens. And these are all modded vehicles, and uh, I'm using ELS, which uh, uh, which is kind of a siren mod, uh, if I could say so. And now you can all go on duty. So if there's any commands you need to know, uh, yes, there are. There, you, if you press X or get a random uh, call out, uh, you can press Y to accept that. And uh, yeah, I would, well, just turn on your sirens. But now I'm just gonna use the. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, no, that's the wrong button. Yeah. All right. So once you bailed out your car and uh, stuff. You can just go on the chase or whatever whatever mission you got. And uh, if there's any other stuff you need to know, yes, they, there is. Press B to get backup. Uh, I have another mod for the backup, but uh, you can uh, request backup for pursuits, code 3, EMS, you know, the medics, and fire trucks, and air support, and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, you can uh, get the vehicle interaction uh, if you're ready or not for uh, calls. 
which uh, this is only some of the examples. Uh, actually, I can try to pull over somebody. And if you want to cancel a mission uh, or uh, call out, you can just press X again. All right, guys. So this is pretty much it for the um, LSPDFR mod. I'm gonna now. We're, I'm just gonna show you how to install the plugins, which can be very useful because they are a big part of the game. I'll tell you that much. All right. See you in a bit. All right. So now I can go back to uh, LSPDFR, and uh, for example, we can uh, you can install plugins. Uh, plugins are additional. Uh, additional mods to a mod, if that makes sense. Uh, so, uh, for example, LSPDFR Plus, it's a, uh, you know, pretty reasonable uh, mod, uh, plugin. Uh, you can just download this file, you do the capacha, and... Uh, actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and download it, because my game keeps on crashing, because something's wrong with it. Okay, so, just take the latest version. Mario Career, right? Just download this. There you go. So, this is a mod that, uh, well, it says itself uh, improved pursuit, better traffic stops, and the court systems, statistics, and stuff. So, just go ahead and open up this file, go inside of it, and if you forget something or on how to download it, or if there's some kind of special plugin, I recommend you check in the README um, where there where, where there's like the installation. So you can just go back to your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory and press the Grand Theft Auto 5 and just drag all of this into here. So, basically, what this does is that it's gonna inside of your uh, well plugins folder, it's gonna add the actual plugin. So, once once you're done with it, this this is just one example. There's are there there are a bunch of uh, other, okay, the my escape call and there are a bunch of different plugins. Um, for example, uh, something I can recommend is could be, if we just go back, whatever, so another mod I can, uh, some other plugins I could really recommend are, for, we can just go sort by most downloaded, because, well, uh, it's this, Traffic Policer. You get people doing some different kind of traffic crimes, running red lights, speeding, and uh, other things like in that kind of a section of crime. And we have code red callouts. Uh, we got LSPDFR Computer Plus. It's it's a pretty cool mod. Police smart radio, vehicle search. You you know there there are there are a lot of different kind of plugins, and it just goes on and on. Well, okay, so how t how do you install them? As I Okay, yeah, I actually should. Okay, so now you're going to be able to download, or, or actually to start the game, not download the game. You're just going to go ahead and press Rage Plugin Hook. In this case, um, the plugin we, we downloaded was actually a, a plugin that actually loads itself when the game starts. So, but if you have any any, any other kind of plugin, you know, for example, third pursuit, k keep the fucking door open, spotlight, sticky wheels. Uh, you can just check them out. Uh, these are very good mods, by the way. You can just save and launch, and I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up the game launch, and I'll be right with you. Alright, so we are back inside of the game, and, uh, well, it's just gonna start up like it usually does. And uh, you can go ahead and go inside of the console again, uh, press F4 if you haven't changed that already inside of the settings. Go to PD. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and get inside of the police station. Hey, 
How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you, Franklin? All right, just go ahead and uh, pick whatever character you would like. There we go. And now, here comes the funny part. Down in the left corner, you're probably gonna freeze a bit. Down in the left corner, okay, yeah, that didn't work. But it's gonna say LSPDFR plus, um, or traffic police or whatever mod you uh, plug in, you download. It's gonna say loaded. Uh, traffic police is compatibility. It's, I think it's under work right now, so that's why it might be kind of buggy, but just so you know, it, uh, it all works. Um, so you will spawn with a pistol and a shotgun and a taser and probably a baton too, yeah. Yeah, you did. And uh, you can just uh, pick whatever you vehicle li uh, you li you'd like, as I showed you before. And something, another thing you would like, you need to know is how to pull up, uh, pull people over. And uh, now that we have our other mods installed, okay, yeah, our doors. Well, we can do other stuff. We can repair. And uh, for example, this car over here. I, I don't like the taxi driver, so we're just gonna go ahead and pull him over. Okay, yeah. No, yeah. Let's just ignore that. Get another people. Get another dude. Uh, yeah, this guy. He's, he's not gonna stop. All right. So you can just activate your sirens. And uh, press shift. Alright, so once they've come to a stop, um, if you have the plugin downloaded, you can, uh, for example, go uh, in front of them, press control T, and they will start stop, start to follow, follow you. Yeah, it's a really cool feature of this mod. Just pull them over to a better spot, and uh, just press control T again. I recommend parking behind people because that's what police do. Get a better look at the their plate. Uh, once you, you in here, you can uh, look up people's. Uh, okay, yeah, he's gonna. That's when you press E. That means they're gonna run the red light or just go straight forward. So don't do that uh, if you're me. And uh, once you're standing still, you can check up their name and or anything. Just approach the suspect. Blah blah blah. What's up, dude? How you feeling? Ask for ID, and uh, as I said, there's a bunch of other pl plugins. So, for example, I can easily check his name with my uh, police radio, or you can go back here. His, his name is Dominic Leza. Uh, let's just go ahead and pet database. Here, you can see. Then you get the, his information. He's been stopped three times. He's want, he doesn't have a wanted status. License status is valid. And you can see his age and his name and everything, which is pretty cool. But this is LSPD FR plus, uh, computer plus, so that's not what you're gonna have. But I re really recommend downloading that mod. If you want my links, just post them in the comments and I can uh, answer the links. Well, I guess this is kind of it. I had a great time recording the video though. Now it's just gonna take 12 hours for me to download the video again. Or I mean upload it, not download it. So... You guys should have a great day. And I should have a great night. And stuff. So, see you in the next video. Peace.